This is a fan project. It was made for entertainment purposes only. It is not endorsed by or associated with Sony, Naughty Dog, or any of their affiliated companies. It is not for sale, distribution, or online monetization. All characters and associated names and references are copyright and trademark of their respective holders. Based on the characters and universe created by Sony Entertainment and Naughty Dog, we bring you Uncharted, The Hidden Kingdom, Part 1. On a lonely sword leaned he, like Arthur on Excalibur, in the battle by the sea, G. K. Chesterton. on a wild goose chase? <laughs> nice one, Nate. Yeah, this one's on me, Chloe. Hey, I like not having to take any blame for once. Yeah, well, we haven't tried crossing any bridges yet. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it. We're practically on top of the coordinates. The sun's coming up, and all I see is ocean. Uh, what do you think, Elena? I don't see anything either, but... But what? I don't know. I, I feel... Wait, do you hear that? Kill the motor, Sully. Sounds like... waves. But there's nothing here. Okay, I felt that. Me too. Where's that spray coming from? Can someone please explain how the boat's bouncing around when there's not a single wave in sight? Oh, oh, God! God! What the heck was that? Feels like we've run aground. On what? There's nothing here! He's right. The ocean's as flat as my walk after a long night in Havana. No, 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 no! Elena! Elena! Are you reading me? I read you. Maybe keep your voice down so no one thinks you got a bug in your ear. You know what I hate about fancy dinner parties? That you never get invited to any? Yeah. Uh, I, I can't believe your fake invite got me through the gate. It wasn't a fake. You said you knew Faitbridge. You didn't say you were friends. Yeah. A guy like Faitbridge doesn't have friends. Stay focused. Relax. I'm through the service entrance. Just nod and act like you belong there. Hello! Hey, hi, how you doing? Yeah, nice hairnet. Yeah, it really ties the whole look together. Oh, hey, smells good. Barley almond soup. Yeah, keeps the body healthy. Stop fooling around. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, keep up the good work. Get serious, kid. Favorite is dangerous. Yeah, so you keep telling me. Uh, how dangerous? Well, let's just say he has a... Medieval way of looking at things. Was that supposed to be an answer? I'm in the East Hallway. Remember, the guards... Are on a rotation, I know. So far, so good. I'm at the door of the office. An electronic lock, just like you said. Well, let's hope your gizmo works. Considering what it cost me, it better. <laughs> I'm in. Ed, you're sure you disabled the alarm system? You hear any alarms going off? Well, if you're gonna get rhetorical. Remember, we need the map. Yeah, and the scans. I know. Going downstairs. I'm at the second door. That sounds thick. Six inches. Steel core. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I gotta get me one of these. Well, after this job, you can afford two. It's cold. Yeah, room's temperature controlled. Whoa. Huh, I feel like I was just transported to the Smithsonian. Armor, shields, broadswords, it... Here's an illuminated manuscript that's a dead ringer for the Book of Kells. Yeah, the Helena would love this. It is the Book of Kells. The one in Ireland's a copy. How do you know? Yeah, I helped Faber steal it. She'll feel kind of bad about that one. So, they asked me to help out with another little history project. You decided to double-cross it. Yeah, what can I say? I never liked the guy. Man, this painting some tapestries. Besides, the idea of a guy like Faberge holding Excalibur really chaps whoa, my... Whoa, 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 Holding what now? You said that the map in the scans would lead us to priceless Arthurian artifacts. A uh, sword's an artifact. The sword in the stone, Excalibur. The lady in the lake, Excalibur. The once and future king, Excalibur. That Excalibur? No. The Excalibur that Melvin the manager bought at the Renaissance Fair for the dinner show at Medieval Times. That's not funny. I... All right, it's a little funny, but I can't believe you didn't tell me we were going after Excalibur. I was worried you might overreact. Guess I was wrong, huh? Okay, okay. Fair. I found the altar. There's a painting of two knights in a sword fight. That's Arthur and Mordred. A bunch of rusted coins, gem set of dagger, parchments, and... Ah, bingo. An old wooden box. That's what we're after, kid. Inside should be a steel cylinder and an envelope of x-rays. X-rays? You said scans. Eh, it's a made on some photo. <laughs> Technically, x-ray fluorescent scans. Scans of what? My colonoscopies. I'll tell you later. We're on the clock. Let's go. Got the cylinder. Hmm. It's heavier than it looks. It's vacuum sealed. The map's inside. Now, careful, think That map is about 1,500 years old. It looks like it. Oh. oh, smells like it too. Ah, oh, does the miraculously preserved document from the early Middle Ages offend your delicate sensibilities? Just grab the scans. Should be in an envelope. There's no envelope. What? Was there yesterday? We have the map. We don't need the scans. The map only tells you where the sword is. The scans tell you how to survive once you get there. Well, we need the scans. Hold on. I got company. Mr. Favridge? Hey, who are you? What was that? Oh, the guard. Knocked him out with a cylinder. Get out of there, kid. Way out of you. Uh, I'm in the East Hall. On my way. Take you up at the south gate and enter the gravel drive. Through the kitchen and... Ta-da! Uh, all right, I'm outside. Heading to the south gate and... Uh-oh. Don't say uh-oh. I hate it when you say uh-oh. It's Faybridge. Don't let him see you. Just get out of there. I can't. He's talking to Elena. Wait, our Elena? What's she doing here? I don't know, but... Don't do anything stupid, kid. He'll think she was in on it. No, he won't. You and Elena have been on and off for a while. Mostly off. I'm getting her out of here. Nate? 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 Hey, Elena. Uh, Mr. Faybridge, I presume. The notorious Nathan Drake. I don't remember inviting you to my... What? Where did you get that? Oh, this, uh... A f funny story. I was, I was hanging out in your office when... Are you crazy? You know where that is? Hey! You! Don't move! That's our cue. Let go of my hand! Go, go, go! Why are we running? What's going on? Almost to the street, Sully! Get back! Hey, Elena! You a lift? Should've known! Where there's one... Get in, both of you! Get in! So, Elena, how have you been? What else did he take? Are you alright, Mr. Faberge? 
Your lip is bleeding. What else did he take? Actually, we were going to ask you, sir. None of us have been in this room before. The altar appears undisturbed, except for the missing cylinder. So they have the map. Are you the one who found him? Yes, sir. I was making my rounds when I noticed the office door slightly ajar. Let me rephrase. Are you the one who let him escape? Yes, sir. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange that a thief would leave a jewel dagger like this behind? Yes, sir. I must have surprised him as This time it's your shoulder. Fail me again and I'll cut out your heart. Understood? Yes, sir. Judgment administered. I feel better, don't you? Yes, sir. Finalize our preparations. I want to be in the air by midnight. Sir. I hadn't planned on leaving until next week, Mr. Drake. But you, that traitor Sully, and the unfortunate Miss Elena have forced my hand. Now judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. The Excalibur. That's what I say. Come on, Nate. Favridge is a collector and a philanthropist. He wanted to hire me to develop a six-part series retelling the King Arthur legend from Mordred's point of view. I turned him down. I mean, most historians now agree Arthur never existed. Wait. You don't believe in King Arthur? Hey, I go with the evidence. And that's what I told Favridge. But he was insistent. He wouldn't take no for... And hold, on, hold on. Where are we? This is an airfield. I'm not getting on a plane. Especially that one. Sully, why do all your planes look like props from a World War II movie? <laughs> ah, they're always out of World War I biplanes. I gotta take what I can get. Well, have a great flight. Give me the van keys. I'll take those. Hey! Listen, Elena. Keys, Nate. Leaving so soon, sweetheart. I was hoping us girls would have a chance to catch up. Chloe. Of course. What are you doing here? Sully said you needed backup on this one. <sighs> I keep telling you. Fade Bridge is dangerous. He's a collector, Sully. How many collectors you know go around with their own band of mercenaries? Trust me, Elena. I've done a couple jobs for Faybridge. He's Belloc, not Indiana. Now let's see the map, kid. Be careful, will you? That map is 1,500 years old. I know, Dad. Mm. Oh, where, where did you get this? This looks and feels authentic. Uh, Faberge has been looking for this map his whole life. His island, Wales, France, and England. Over here is the Celtic Sea. What's this tiny island? Chloe, did you bring those charts? Yeah, right here on my mobile. It's called Google Earth, old timer. The Isles of Scilly are here, about 25 miles out. After that, there's nothing but open sea. I'm sorry, but if Google can't find your island, it doesn't exist. There's some writing here, but it's too small. Oh, see? You're interested. You can't resist adventure any more than I can. I'm not getting on that plane, Nate. Uh, hold on. I got an idea. Now you're using a cell phone? First, we take a picture of the island. It's not taking a picture. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, got it. All right. Apply a little digital zoom. Yeah, what do you know? Looks like coordinates and a name. Oh boy. What's it say? Avalon. That island is Avalon? My King Arthur knowledge is a, a little rusty. Here's the condensed version. King Arthur had an affair with the sorceress Morgan. Later, their son Mordred tried to usurp Arthur. In the final battle, Arthur killed Mordred. But not before Mordred mortally wounded the king. In some of the legends, Morgan took Arthur to the island of Avalon where his wounds could be healed. In others, the king died and was buried on Avalon with his sword. 
Excalibur. Uh, let's see Google Earth again, Chloe. Okay. Looks like we fly to Plymouth here. Take the boat to the Isles of Scilly here. Refuel and head across the Celtic Sea to these coordinates. I figure we have an hour on Faybridge, maybe two. You don't really expect to find Avalon. <sighs> Let's go. Yep, I'll go start the plane. Nate! Come on, Avalon! Here you go. See you later. Avalon? Really, Nate? King Arthur Excalibur? The Excalibur? Yeah, drive safe. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Wait up, I'm coming with you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my girl. Shut up. Look at them, Chloe. Sitting up there, pilot and co-pilot, like a couple of boys pretending to be treasure hunters. Except these boys really are treasure hunters. And so are you, Elena. I'm a journalist. Yeah, a journalist who will go anywhere and will risk anything for a good story. It's not the same. <laughs> I swear, Nate wants to be doing this when he's Sully's age. Then you don't. I love my job. I'm good at what I do. I just think there are stages, you know? I want a family someday. I want a quieter life someday. Don't you think about that? Sure, but the way I see it, you can't have everything. Besides, in my line of work, planning for the future doesn't make a lot of sense. Nature should be with you, not me. <laughs> oh, darling, it was a fling, that's all. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a nice fling. Spare me the details. <laughs> you sure? There was this one time in Mozambique where... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, give Nate a chance. He might surprise you. Hey, girls, Sully brought pork rides. Uh, then again... <laughs> Ah, nothing like a relaxing boat ride. You see, this is how I like adventures to go. Nice and easy. <sighs> Too easy. Watch it on, Chloe. All the way from Plymouth to the Isles of Scilly with no sign of Faybridge? It's too easy. Well, that's the problem with being a double-crossing two-faced mercenary. It makes you cynical. <laughs> Love you too. While you're fueling up the boat, I'm gonna take a look around. You're wasting your time! Now, was that a wave or did you just give me the finger? Eh, yeah, let her look around, kid. It'd be stupid to underestimate Fingridge. He had a lot of people and equipment to pull together. So yeah, maybe we got lucky and picked up a day or two. But still. I feel like you're hiding something, Sully. <laughs> Elena, honey. I'm an open book. No, there's something you're not telling us about Fingridge. Yeah, turn some pages, Mr. Open Book. Uh, we faced dangerous people before. What's so special about Fingridge? Uh, over the years, I, uh, helped him build up his collection. For a price, of course. Of course. Well, about a week ago, I helped him, uh, what's the word we're looking for? Acquire? Uh, attain. Borrow. Steal? Steal! Yeah, that's the one. I helped him steal a rare painting by the medieval artist Giotto de Bondone. Which painting? Arthur receives the Holy Spirit. Arthur kneels by a lake. A white dove descends from heaven, and a hand rises out of the lake, holding Excalibur. I saw that painting at the Louvre last year. Don't tell me. The one in the Louvre is a fake, too. Oh, Sully, I love that painting. What do you mean, too? This might not be the best time, and I know how much you love the Book of Kells. The Book of Kells is a fake? Oh, the copy is just as good, Elena. Most well, scholars can't even tell the difference. Sully, I, I made a pilgrimage to the Book of Kells when I was in college. Don't you guys have any respect for the sacred? Hey, don't paint me with the same brush. Unlike some people, I don't steal sacred stuff. Yeah, well, well what are you doing here now? 
Okay, so paint me with the same brush, just not so wide a brush. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just... Can we get back to Faybridge? Uh, please. Okay. Three days ago, Faybridge invites me to his mansion. Takes me downstairs to his, uh, Sanctum St. Paul. Shows me the painting all framed and lit up. Turns out, the painting is a kind of, uh... Pally... Pallum, uh, Pallid... Pamphlet? Yeah. Because they had pamphlets in the Middle Ages. Palimpsest? Ah, hey, that's the one. Now you're just making words up. In the old days, parchment and canvas were made out of animal skins. But it was expensive, so sometimes they'd reuse the parchment by scraping the words off. It's called a palimpsest. With paintings, they'd just do a new painting over the old one. It was also a great way to hide information you didn't want just anyone to see. Bingo. So, Faybridge learns about the painting, has it scanned, and discovers a secret document that reveals the location of the map. Which was where, exactly? Ah, oh, there's a little church in Cornwall, Wales. The church was built on the ruins of an old castle. The castle was built on a graveyard and... And the dish ran away with the spoon. We get it. <laughs> so, Faybridge gets the map, which, I mean, I don't know, tells him how to find out. But, that secret document revealed a lot more than the map's location. According to Faybridge, it was written by Morgan Le Fay herself. He starts telling me about how Morgan was this uh, powerful witch. Morgan was a sorceress and a scientist. She was ahead of her time. Well, she must have been a looker, too, because Arthur betrays Gwyneth to shack up with her. Nice. Well, one thing leads to another, and they have an illegitimate son, Mordred. Years later, Mordred tries to take over, and Arthur kills him in battle, but not before being mortally wounded himself. Mordred had three sons. So Bors kills one, so Lancelot kills another, but the middle son escapes. According to Faybridge, that bloodline continues to this day. Whoa, hold on. Faybridge thinks he's the direct descendant of Mordred? You've got to be kidding me. He thinks it's all real. Arthur, Morgan, Mordred, Avalon, the sword, all of it. Oh, crap. I thought we were going to take turns keeping watch. Actually, that was Chloe's idea. Well, well, well. If it isn't our little band of party crashers. Hands up, please. Come on, Faybridge, you're not going to shoot us in broad daylight. We're on an island on the edge of nowhere. I've already bribed the local authorities and your thieves. So yes, I'm going to shoot you in broad daylight. You know, Faybridge, you left out a few things about your documentary. Did I now? I couldn't figure out why you were so passionate about it. But now I understand. Mordred's side of the story is your side of the story. <laughs> Dear Elena, it pains me to see the company you've chosen. She wasn't part of this. I swear. <laughs> well, if you swear. Do you really believe you're the direct descendant of Mordred? It's not a belief, Elena. It's a fact. Mordred's blood runs in my veins. I have documents passed down generation to generation. I have artifacts collected across centuries. For over a thousand years, my ancestors have searched for the map. But only I was deemed worthy to find it. I'd say that more to do with modern technology than your worthiness. What would a thief for hire know about destiny? I was finally ready to fulfill my family's quest. Unfortunately, in my zeal, I made one mistake. I trusted Victor here. I assume the man who helped me steal the painting could help me steal the rest. And you were right. Technically. Except you stole from me instead of for me. Well, you can't have everything. But I do have everything, Mr. Drake. I know how to get safely to Avalon. You don't. I know how to find Excalibur without getting wounded. You don't. And I know where Arthur lies entombed, waiting for the prophecy of his return to be fulfilled. Oh, a king will return from Avalon, but it won't be Arthur. I will play my destiny and change the course of the world. In fact, let's start with you three. Give me the map. I don't need it, of course. These past few days, I've stared so long at its cracked surface, I've memorized every detail. But the map belongs to my family. What? You guys really should watch your back. Chloe, I will never say another word about you being a double-crossing, two-faced mercenary. Aw, oh, you're too kind. 
Guns down, boys. <clears throat> you shoot me and you're all dead. Ooh, I love an ultimatum. On three, shall we? You're bluffing. All we have to lose is our lives. You'll lose 1,500 years of destiny. One. Maybe we can negotiate. Two. All in favor of negotiating, raise your hand. Three. All right. Guns in the water. Do it. Your men look hot and sweaty, Faybridge. <sighs> Into the water, now. Start swimming, boys. Nice work, Chloe. Now, where are the scans, Faybridge? And by scans, he means the scans of the pally... Uh, palum... pallid... Palimpsest? Yeah, that's the one. You think I'd carry something so valuable around in my pocket? Ah, crap. Let's go. Your turn, Faybridge. Into the water. May I look into your eyes first? Well, you really weren't bluffing, were you? I could use a woman like you. Use being the operative word. I'll make you head of security. Seven-figure salary. And a place in the new order when I come into my power. Normally, I'd take that offer knowing I was just going to double-cross you. So I'm going to save us all a lot of trouble and count to three again. One, two... Until next time. We better get going. Oh, if we were really smart, we'd shoot him now. Yeah, we're not that smart. Thanks, Chloe. Hey, don't I get a hug? <laughs> For what? For letting them sneak up on us. Giving you the opportunity to be a hero. Stop wasting time, kid. Let's go. on top of the coordinates. The sun's coming up and all I see is ocean. Uh, what do you think, Elena? I don't see anything either, but... But what? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel... Wait, do you hear that? Kill the motor, Sully. Sounds like... waves. But there's nothing here. I felt that. Me too. Where's that spray coming from? Can someone please explain how the boat's bouncing around when there's not a single wave in sight? Oh, ah! What the heck was that? Feels like he's running around. On what? There's nothing here. He's right. The ocean's as flat as my walk after a long night in Havana. No, 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 no! Ah! Oh! What? Look! An island! 
I could say it as soon as my feet touched the ground. Stop, Doc. Let's get out of these waves. This one starfish. Here, here, use this to bandage Chloe's head. Ah, that's a nasty cut. Uh, swallow gal or two. <coughs> Chloe, are you okay? <coughs> what happened? We crashed, that's what happened. You went under, and Elena fished you out. Thanks. I guess we're even. We didn't just crash. We just crashed on Avalon. In some of the legends, Morgan used a spell to make the island invisible. An invisible island? I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> or, uh, not seen it, as the case may be. Look at the trees! The cliffs! It's beautiful! This island is impossible! Historically, it could be one of the most significant- I'm glad you're feeling like you're back at school, Elena, but we need to get practical. What do we do now? Well, without a boat, we either grow old and die here on Avalon, or wait for Faybridge to get here and kill us. Some treasure hunters you are. You have a better idea? We're on Avalon, people! Let's go find Excalibur! Okay, yeah, that's a better idea. Good one, Elena. Yeah, not bad. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> What's so funny? I thought you didn't believe in King Arthur. Shut up! <laughs> But these doubt if the king be king at all, and whether this be built by magic. Tennyson, Idols of the King. Or does everything feel... I don't know... pure? No, oh, it's just you, Elena. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate walking in sand. Come on, Nate. The sand is as white as paper. The, the cliffs, solid black. Those trees on the ridge. Have you ever seen such a deep green? I mean, this place... It's... It's almost too perfect. Ah, Elena, darling, sometimes your optimism is endearing. Yeah, but this ain't one of those times. We're in a bit of a pickle here. <laughs> Sorry, Sully. Hey, check that out. Down by the rocks. Looks like the remains of a ship. Uh, judging by the looks of it, I'd say that's an old British frigate. Watch your language, young man. There's more wreckage. Got me crazy. But, uh, but that looks like a 16th century gap. I mean, it's rotted down to the ribs, but you can still tell. My money's on pirates. So we're not the first ones stranded on Avalon. Well, nowadays we're too far off any shipping lanes. No one comes out here anymore. But back in the old days... I wonder if we could find any guns or weapons down there. <laughs> what, you want to shoot some ghosts? Or, uh, do you think the great-great-great-grandkids of Jack Sparrow are running around somewhere on Avalon? Actually, I was thinking of a certain psychopath who is hot on our trail and intent on killing us. But at this point, I'd say anything's possible. Ah, uh, see, that's the problem with being a double-crossing... Uh-uh-uh, you promised. Uh, yeah. Well, ghost castaways are enemies. We need a vantage point. I want to be caught with our trousers down like we were in the village. Speak for yourself. I'm never going to hear the end of that, am I? Not if I have anything to say about it. Hey, guys, I think there's a way up the cliff over there. 
See those stones jutting out at weird angles? Depending on how you look at it, it's almost like a set of stairs. A yeah, nice one, Elena. We may just have to keep you around. Huh. <sighs> Right back you only hear a tale of fateful trip. Stow that little buddy. Uh, aye aye, Skipper. Unbelievable. Oh, oh well. Uh, oh, it's my cardio for the week. Mine for the month. You can see the whole island from up here. Yeah, it's a nice view. But we can't just sit here looking. We need to find that sewer before Fabridge shows up. Let's keep moving. This island can't be more than a quarter mile across. It's so beautiful. Eh, yeah, not the word I'd use. What do you mean, Sully? <laughs> what do you mean, what do I mean? Look at it. Looks like a freaking English garden. It's, eh, uh, yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Unnatural? No, nah, no. Nah. Abnormal? Nah, not that either. Weird? That's it. <laughs> Ah, uh, gotcha, smarty pants. Chloe, shoot them for me, please. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't have a gun. Besides, you walked right into that one. No sign of Chloe's pirate family. Maybe we should split up. Search twice as fast. Don't think that'll be necessary, kid. Uh, why not? Look. I am looking. Look why I'm pointing. Oh. Oh. How is that even possible? Th those statues have to be a hundred feet tall. Carved right out of the cliff. Handsome devils. There's a cave. Looks like they're guarding... Welcoming. Did you say welcoming? They look welcoming to me. You see a pair of giant statues holding swords, and you think they're the welcome party. <laughs> Tomato to my. Let's get down there and scope it off while we have the chance. I'm just saying, they don't look dangerous. Uh, did I mention they're holding swords? The swords are pointed down, Nate. Come on, lovebirds. The point isn't that they're pointed down. The point is that they're pointed. Uh, uh, the cave didn't look this big from up on the hill. I'll drive a tank through here. Ooh, don't like the sound of that wind. I do. Wind means there's another way out. And another way in. Mm, Touche. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Whoa, whoa, oh, hold on. on, wait a second. What? What? What, what do you mean, what? Booby traps, Elena. There are always booby traps. Yeah, remember the falling statue in Prague? All right, technically that wasn't a booby. Or the spikes in the Valley of Temples. Okay, that <laughs> was a booby. Or uh, how about that hive of bullet ants in Nicaragua? Come on, that was not a booby trap. just stop saying booby? <sighs> so what do we do, just sit here? Yeah, she's right. We don't have a lot of options. And Faybridge is on his way. So, let's just take this real slow. Skeletons. Looks like this entrance is paved with false floors. They stepped on the wrong spot, their feet fell through, and, uh, good night, Irene. Are those spikes? I, I think I can get this guy loose. <laughs> That's disgusting, Chloe. The spikes are metal. They go right through the fibula. Hey, there! Oh. Ew, gross! Oh. Here, Nate. Be a sweetheart and toss him out of the way, will you? Oh, man. Why do I get all the dirty jobs? Sully, look at this. It's just a hinged door. You step through, your foot hits this lever, and, if I had to guess, your own weight causes the spikes to thrust out on each side. Then they... <coughs> lock into place somehow. Nasty. <laughs> Clever. You want to reset it, don't you? Makes a nice welcome mat for Faybridge. But I can't figure out how to reset these friggin' spikes. Now, maybe they have to click forward all the way. You know, like a uh, vice grip plot That would be pretty diabolical. 
Then your own leg would stand between you and freedom. Yeah, sounds about evil to me. You already cleared the bones out of there. Give it a try. <sighs> if this works. Okay. The spikes extend forward easy enough. Now we just have to push them back the other way. <sighs> Rock them in place. There. You were right. Hey, Nate! Sully was right about something. You're kidding. Our Sully? I had no respect. Now, we lift the little trap door back up, sprinkle some dirt over the area. That's amazing, Chloe. I can't see it at all. Now, from my count, looks like eight more traps were sprung. That we can see. Oh, good point. Now, for all we know, this whole entrance is covered with these things. I say we reset them all. Then how do we get across? You guys get started on the traps. Elaine and I will head back to the pirate ship, see if we can get some planks. Maybe we can lay them down and walk right across. Not bad, kid. Shall we, Elena? Anything is better than watching Chloe break... Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <sighs> These things are heavy. Can we rest a minute? Uh, let's just get to the top of the cliff. You think two planks are enough? Oh, I think two is all I can carry. Look at you. What? Oh, nothing. You just look, you know, happy. I don't... I wouldn't say happy. Come on, why won't you admit it? Admit what? That you love this. The danger, the adventure. How many times have we been in bad situations like this? We always come through... Okay, with... yes, I do. I love it. I just... There are stages, Nate. Stages? Stages in life. Uh, sure, of course. Uh, stages. You know what I'm talking about, right? You're talking about stages and how life has stages and we have stages and... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The adventures we've had. I wouldn't trade them for anything. But life has stages. I want more than... Oh, this is so hard. This isn't the only thing I care about. <laughs> Ow. Sorry, I, I didn't mean... No, I, I get it. The treasure hunter isn't exactly long-term relationship material. I just love other things, you know? You mean you want other things? Yeah. I want those things too, Elena. Nate. After all the time we've spent together, you gotta know me better than... Come on, Nate. I'm serious. Y you don't have to say... You really think I want to be messing with booby traps when I'm Sully's age? Really, you have to stop saying booby. Look, I love Sully, but he's 50 years old and he's got no one. He's got you? You know what I mean. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, yeah, sure. But I want it noted that I, the guy, wanted to have the relationship talk, and you, the gal, didn't want to talk about it. The gal. Hey, I'm spitballing here. <sighs> Let's get back to the cave. Are you going to help? Fine, but remember, ow! What happened? I got a splinter. Oh, Nate, we're in big trouble now. I mean, it's not that bad. No, look, a boat. Favorite. Looks like he's got a small army on deck. If we can see them, they can see us. Why aren't they shooting? Because he can't see us. We are invisible, remember? Come on, we don't have a lot of time. We're almost to the coordinates, sir. The men are... concerned. <laughs> they should be more than concerned. We're approaching Avalon, hidden by magic for 15 centuries. They should be scared. This is where the known and unknown overlap. Yes, sir. Make sure we approach from the northwest. According to my scans, there's a small bay where we can avoid the rocks. We'll anchor there and row across. Like the pirates of old. Now what about Drake and Sullivan? 
They're probably dead already. And if they're not? You know I hate rhetorical questions. Yes, sir. See to the landing. Yes, sir. After all these years, I will finally fulfill my family's destiny. Mr. Drake and that traitorous Sully will be the first to face judgment. <laughs> Oh, it took you long enough. Been gone two hours. You try carrying flags from a pirate ship over a cliff wall on an invisible island. Favorite is here. We saw his ship. Now uh, we better move our butts. He could show up at any time. Uh, you guys did a great job. I can't even tell there are any boo uh, traps here. Won't be good enough to fool Favorite. He's got the scans. Those documents are like a cheat sheet to this place. Then why, may I ask, did we do all this work? Well, maybe some of the men will get careless. It's worth a shot. What did you do with all the skeletons? Laid them to rest in the bushes outside. Uh, come on, kid. Help me slide this plank across the ground. I'll go first. Just hang back. Crossing the minefield. Looks like this is gonna work. Hey, slide the other plank over and I'll push it ahead. I think we can make it to that ledge of rocks. Okay, folks, let's go. This ledge continues deeper into the cave. You and Elena keep going. Sully and I will pull the planks across and scatter some dirt to disguise our little trap. Look at you. A man with a plan. Come on, Elena. Um, Chloe, you have more experience with this kind of thing, but shouldn't a cave get darker the deeper we go? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You hear that? I don't just hear it. I see it. What are you... Oh. Is this a... Freshwater lake? Look at that hole in the roof of the cave. It's... A perfect circle. That can't be natural. Nothing here is natural, sweetheart. Case in point, those little streams pouring out of the cave wall. Where's all that water coming from? Well, as I said, Morgan was a very intelligent woman. Maybe she built a pump system that cycles the water from the lake to the streams. <laughs> or maybe it's just magic. You are loving this, aren't you? What? No, no. I mean, why does everyone Hold keep... on. Someone's here. What? Where? In the shadows. In front of the lake. Hey, there's a pond Shh. in here. Someone's here. Looks like a... Woman? Why is she just standing there? Because uh, uh, that's what statues do. Well, don't I feel stupid? Oh, wait, that's your line, isn't it, Nate? Uh, funny. Yeah, the ground seems solid enough. Come on. And let's keep an eye out for favorites this time. Good point. She looks almost alive. Hey, is anyone else getting this? She's a lady? There's a lake? I mean, come on. It's gotta be. Right? Can't tell if she's made of marble or metal. Look at the detail. What's up with her hands? I mean, it's like she's saying, come closer and stop at the same time. <laughs> Women. Nice. I like her sense of fashion. Looks like medieval body armor. Are her eyes glass? It's like looking into a deep well. And I swear, there's a light down there. Yeah, I'd say that's impossible, but why bother? Now, let me see. Okay. That's creepy. Okay, everyone. Back up, back up. Look at the ground in front of her. There's words carved in the stone. What language is that? I think it's Old English. That's English. Now, it looks like gibberish. 
Anyone got a PhD in linguistics? I don't think getting closer to it is going to help. Oh, this is amazing. When I touch the words, I can understand them. What? She's right. Wow. Well, that's convenient. What's it say? If you are certain of your soul, step up. Eye to eye, hand to hand. Declare your worth. What does it mean? Worthy how? Worthy of what? Is it talking about chivalry? Honor? Knightly virtues? Maybe it's a riddle? Maybe it's a trap. I think it's instructions. You stand in front of her, look into her eyes, place your hand against her hand, and say I am worthy. You're kidding. Huh. I'm game. All right, back up. Let's try this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what if Chloe's right and it's a trap? You got a better idea? Faybridge has probably landed by now. Okay. Look into her eyes. Crap, there is a light down there. I don't like this. Her hand feels almost warm. Okay, here goes nothing. I am worthy. Ah! Oh, Sully, he's hurt. Sully, what is it? What do you think it is? It's my hand. That's a lot of blood. Here, take my bandage. Something shot out of her hand. Hold still. Oh, looks like a railroad <sighs> spike punched in your palm. Eh, not the first time I didn't measure up to a woman's expectations. <sighs> So what now? We're well, gonna have to try something before Fabridge gets here. There, or hide. I'm not a big fan of hiding. But in this case... Yeah, maybe we can tell him to stick his head on her hand and say it. <clears throat> maybe we can take the statue apart. Elena, what are you doing? You heard Sully. We have to do something. Elena, get away from there. Her hand does feel warm. How is that possible? Elena, no. Hold on, let's... Here goes. Elena! I am worthy. Of course she did it. Saint Elena. Oh, I feel faint all of a sudden. Come here. I can't believe you did that. Look at the other hand. The fingers are twisting and retracting. What is that? A handle of some kind? That's not a handle. It's the hilt of a sword. You don't think it's... What else? Elena, would you do the honors? Be careful. Well, I'll be. Why me? The eye is like a sheath of some sort. So, just to make sure we're all on the same page, Elena is holding Excalibur right now. Right? What's going on? That wall, it, it's opening. Looks like removing the sword triggers a secret yeah. chamber. All right, kids, let's go. Run for the chamber! Get him! Stop, you fool! Mr. Favorite! My leg! Yes. Looks like you found your destiny as well. Wait. You can't just leave me. You're useless to me now. But if you prefer... No. Mr. Favorite, please! I trust the rest of you will now follow my steps exactly. Nice and slow. It's a dead end. Lots of weapons. Swords, shields. Uh, not much good against guns. Here, here, another door. Looks like solid gold. Uh, it's moving. Sully! <laughs> Everyone inside! And it's pitch black. Find something that wedge the door shut. Uh, I can't even see the door. Anyone get a look before we... Yeah, but I don't think you want to know. Of course we want to know. Okay, then. First, let me feel around and wedge the door shut with this diamond-encrusted sword. Oh, no. Don't tell me. It's a room filled with treasure. I told you not to tell me! 
I see you found the treasure room. Yeah, sure, rub it in. I'll give you 10 seconds to come out. Yeah, forget it, Favridge. This door's a foot thick. You'll never shoot your way through. That's why my men are holding grenades. <sighs> this just keeps getting better and better. What do we do? Don't have much of a choice, do we? Favorite, we're coming out. Man, I hate losing. Especially to this guy. You four like the Marx Brothers. Except you're not funny. Before you kill us, can I just take one look at the room full of treasure? <laughs> the real treasure, Mr. Drake, is on this side of the door. Please, look around. Guys, over here, on this ledge. Now, there's something you don't see every day. I mean, there's something else you don't see every day. A dead knight. Right out of the Middle Ages. He looks pretty good for a dead guy. A little gray, maybe, but... His armor's in good condition, too. Who do you think he is? Who do you... I'm holding Excalibur. Who do you think The one and only King Arthur. Or should I say, my great great etc. grandfather. Now, about Elena holding Excalibur. After turning down my offer to make a documentary on the subject, after doubting the very existence of Arthur, you, you were found worthy. How was that just? I should kill you for that alone. <laughs> yeah? And how are you gonna get the sword? You're not exactly the worthy type. True. The information I have is very specific on the point. Excalibur would only be given to someone judged worthy. An enchantment of Morgan's, no doubt. <laughs> I see you tried and failed, Sully. That's some compensation, anyway. Like you, I don't know many truly good people, so I brought the next best thing. Power tools. If the Lady of the Lake wouldn't give me the sword, I'd cut her open and take it. And if that didn't work, I brought explosives as well. I'd blast the island apart until I found this cave. But thanks to you, I just walked right in. You know you can't wield the sword, right? I mean, whatever power it has, you're unworthy, so... Nice try, but Excalibur has no magic power. It is and always was symbolic. The man who pulled the sword from the stone was worthy to be king. People would rally round such a man. It's the kind of thing kingdoms are built upon. You mean you don't want Excalibur? Most worthy, Elena. Of course I want it. It belongs to me. But for my collection, it serves no other purpose now. No. This. This is the true treasure. Steam coming out of a big hole in the ground. What, you never heard of a sauna? Victor! Hold your hand over the steam. I'll pass, thanks. If you prefer, I can have you shot first. You know what? On second thought, I'd be glad to do it. The other hand, you idiot! <laughs> nice one, Sully. Then remove the bandage first. I... The hole in your hand. It's healing. I don't believe it. <laughs> but even that is not the true treasure. No, I'm interested in what's creating the steam. At the bottom of this pit, incorporated into the very foundations of this island, is a large crystal. Its value is greater than all the wealth in all the world. Okay, I'll buy it. What does the crystal do? Ah, oh, Miss Fraser. Right about now, I imagine you regret turning down my job offer. Little bit, yeah. Is the job still open? <laughs> Sadly, no. But in regards to your question, perhaps Crystal is misleading. It's the Philosopher's Stone. Bravo, Elena! You know your history! Well, 30 seconds ago, I would have said that was an alchemist's pipe dream. The stone that turns lead into gold. Yes. I could turn lead to gold. I could turn the very stone under our feet to gold. But I have gold. The Philosopher's Stone's effects on flesh are much more valuable. For one, it generates a healing mist. Otherwise, dear old Arthur would have turned to dust centuries ago. Wait, Arthur is still alive? The King merely sleeps. But that's just the beginning of the Philosopher's Stone's power. When the healing mist is distilled into a liquid using the proper technique, 
The stone creates a tonic for eternal life. You don't really believe that, do you? After all you've seen, I'm surprised you don't. He has a point. Hey, whose side are you? I'm just saying. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you're right. No. Think of the wealth and power that comes with such a treasure. I'll build a processing plant on this very spot. Use cutting-edge technology. I'll utilize the stone in ways Morgan and even Merlin himself never imagined. I will change the world. The things I will do with eternal life. The elite society I will rule. The legacy I will create. Because in the end, the only true treasure is life itself. Everything else fades. Not unlike a mist. Speaking of which, it's time to go. I don't suppose we can catch a ride. <laughs> I'm afraid not. No, you'll die here with Arthur, who, without the Philosopher's Stone, will molder in his sleep and turn into dust. But first, I have a personal score to settle. How thoughtful of Arthur to stock his chamber with swords. We can do this old school. Victor. Judgment by combat. Defeat me and I'll let you all live. Choose your weapon. Good by me. I'm all about old school. Hey, hey, slow down. I think you need to choose a champion. Forget it, kid. Now stand back. Nate. No, I am not being chivalrous. He's got 20 years on you, Sully. So do I. He's got a point. Keep an eye on the others. And if by chance Mr. Drake starts to win, shoot him. With pleasure, sir. Not what I envisioned, but the end results will be the same. Very well, I accept your champion. Give me the sword, Sully. Elena? He's right. Here you go, kid. Just do me a favor and don't die. Whoa! These broadswords are heavy. Nate, watch out! Whoa. Ah! For an art collector, you're pretty good! The broadsword! My whole life I've trained as if I were living in the Middle Ages. Well, that would explain the body odor. Favorite is gonna kill him! Not much we can do at the moment. You look tired, Mr. Drake! Is that broadsword getting heavy? No, no. Uh, it does feel uh, like I'm using muscles. Uh, I didn't even know I had. <laughs> Go ahead. Pick it up. Chivalry is not dead. Uh, I almost want to wake Arthur uh, just to see the look uh, on his face. Oh, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. I'll wait. Legend says the king will return when he's needed. With Excalibur in hand, he'll rally the good people of the Earth. But that prophecy ends here. After I dispense justice on you, Mr. Drake, I will slice Arthur's throat with his own sword. All right. Back to it. Ha! Ha ha! Nate! Come on, kid. Watch your space, Nate. He's gonna knock you into the lake. Sully, I have an idea. Hey, what are you doing? Just putting this heavy sword down. Step away from there. Okay, relax. What good is that gonna do? Something favorite said made me think. If we give Arthur his sword... Looks like your boyfriend is about to become your ex. Uh, now you're in trouble, favorite. A uh, uh, refreshing dip is just what I needed. Uh, I admire your spirit. Uh, Let's finish this. He can't last much longer. I can't watch this anymore. I'm gonna charge these guys. Wait, Mark! Holy! What the? Uh, boss! He's getting out! Well, boss. now I know what Lazarus looked like. Oh, a zombie. The king has awakened. Stay where yeah. you are! And he doesn't look happy. Your Majesty! Boss! I said stay where you are! <laughs> Cut his head off. I did not see that coming. Get down. Look at how fast he moves. Watch out!
The guy's like a medieval cuisine art. What's going on in there? Hey, he's leaving. Come on, come on. He just disemboweled and dismembered seven men. And you want to follow him? Nate's out there. Oh. What's the matter, Fabridge? Oh, you need a rest? Oh, okay. I'll grant you your boon this... this one time. Shut up! I need to see what's going on in... I don't believe it. Neither do I. But... I'll take it, I think. The one... Rodorior. Uh... What now? It's Old English, you fool. He's asking who we are. Declare your purpose! All right, this sounds like a family thing, so I'm just gonna drop my sword, raise my hands, bow my head, and back away. Wise man, but you, you are the look of a thief. Who are you? Answer your king. You are not my king. I am Dorian Faybridge, descendant of Mordred, and your own heir. I claim Avalon as my right. Mordred. Mordred was a traitor. He was no traitor. You are a despot, and you will receive a despot's fate! Ah! You dare attack your king? You are not my king! Ah! Ah! Nate, Nate, are you alright? I thought I was in trouble for a second there. You're crazy, you know that? Oh, I love you too. Ah! What happened? Arthur just ah! held Faybridge into the chamber. Come on, this I gotta see. I mean, Faber's is good, right? Yeah, there's good, then there's the real thing. Mordred had no honor. He lost it to rule for his own benefit. To him, the world was something to consume. I see the same greed in your eyes. And the same fear. That's gonna hurt. No! No! To come so close to my destiny! To eternal life! Now oh, that's really gotta hurt. Save your soul. Beg forgiveness of your king. You are not my king! I can still get to the stone! You want the stone? It's yours! Ah! It's like the stone is dissolving him. It's eating him alive. Foxy! Mist! Skins! Go away. You have my things. Come on, Chloe. We gotta get the planks down. Arthur! Your Majesty! Come with us! Later! We gotta go! Return this to the lady. This is your sword. Yes, but this is not my time. Hurry, girl. That fool's body has corrupted a stone. If I cannot stop the alchemical reaction, it could destroy this island and everything on it. I cannot guarantee your safety. Now go. Elena! <laughs> Listen to the nice king, and let's go! The chamber's closing! Run for it! That crazy mist is everywhere! This must be what tear gas feels Ow. like. Ah, uh, trust me. It's similar. Come on. We gotta get these plates down. The place is falling apart! What about Arthur? It's every king and queen for themselves, sweetheart. Let's go. Elena! What's she doing? Ugh, what do you think? She's being Elena. This belongs to you, lady. They realize that's priceless. Yeah. And the sword's worth a lot, too. Oh, why do I gotta surround myself with decent folk? Come on, Elena. Okay, I'm done. You sure? You don't want to tuck Arthur in or anything? <laughs> Let's get to the boat before this whole place dissolves. Or worse. That's when their ass is sent by Sully! Out of the way! <sighs> no respect.
the island was still shaking when we left. You think Baybridge was, you know, conscious the whole time the stone was... Dissolving him? Ugh, that's almost too awful to think about. Yeah, what's awful is leaving all that treasure behind. Hey, if you want to go back... <laughs> yeah, I might, kid. I might. But back where? Hmm? <sighs> From out here, the island's invisible. And I didn't stop to pick up the map or the scans. As treasure hunters, you're a pathetic crew. Even though not all of the treasure was left behind. You're not gonna get all hallmark on me, are you? It's not the destination, it's the journey. Right, that's me, all hearts and flowers. No, when you boys were pleading with Faybridge while we were standing on heaps of treasure, I may have taken a moment to pick up these. Holy mother. Wait, did you say pleading? What do you figure, uh, four to six carrots each, and you've got three of them? One for you, two for me. Flowers, no. Diamonds, yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Chloe, I take back every mean thing I ever said about you. <laughs> I could kiss you. Try it and I'll take the diamond back. Ah, oh, come on, it wouldn't be that bad, would it? I will throw you off this boat, Casanova. I'm just gonna let you two have a moment. So, got any special plans for those diamonds? As a matter of fact, I do. Hmm. You got a share for any of them? Hey, you okay? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just... Uh, I know. Thinking... I figured. Me too. Yeah? What about? About being worthy. Come on. I, I got lucky. That was the Lady of the Lake, Elena. She was just an automaton with... With magical properties? Something like... I, I don't know. I mean, did Morgan figure out a way to push science so far ahead of us that it looks like magic, or... I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Is magic real? Yeah. It changes things, you know? Knowing Arthur is real, I mean. And waiting to return. Yeah. Hey, did that freak you out too? I mean, what's he gonna do, a guy with a sword? I mean, how's he gonna change the world? I don't know. Maybe one life at a time. I mean, I feel changed. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And I learned something about myself. This sounds serious. It is. I learned... I mean, I know now. I'm not worthy. Nick, the Lady of the Lake was a machine. It's... Of you, I mean. I'm not... I'm not worthy of... <laughs> you, I... <laughs> You know, I was kind of bearing my soul here. <laughs> I'm serious, Elena. I... <laughs> okay, okay. It was pretty corny, wasn't it? Corny? I... I'd say more like pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was a little... Wait, pathetic? Really? P pathetic. And perfect. Come here. <laughs> Note to self, be pathetic more often. Uh, you know, something interesting? Morgan, in her studies, would have undoubtedly studied the Bible, which, incidentally, talks about life being a vapor. No kidding. You think it was referring to the mist? Maybe. It makes you think. The mist, the philosopher's stone, the dream of immortality. I mean, life is so short. No one knows how long they have. We have right now. Hmm. We do, don't we? You know what I think? That you wish we were alone on this boat? I think we make quite a pair. Who sounds pathetic now? <laughs> we both do. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. You've been listening to Uncharted The Hidden Kingdom, a fan-made audio adventure. For more information about the project, visit us online at unchartedthk.com. 
That's UnchartedThK.com. This audio drama was written by Chuck Duffy and directed by Jonathan Winstead. Music for this episode composed by Zachary Horner and Evan Boyerman. Sound design and Foley by Jonathan Winstead. Production assistant, Sasha Bloor. Graphic design by Tommy Rude. Starring John Doyle as Nathan Drake, with Graham Rowett as Dorian Faybridge. Sandra Espinoza as Elena Fisher, Beth Davison as Chloe Fraser, and Ken Murdoch as Victor Sullivan. Eric Wielden as King Arthur, Brian Stavale as the head mercenary, Christopher Moore as an additional mercenary, and Sam Gore as our narrator. Produced by Jonathan Winstead. Special thanks to Miranda Ray, Laura K. Welsh, Oliver Ray, Kennedy Phillips, Eric Gibbs, and Mike Petty. We hope you enjoyed our production of Uncharted, The Hidden Kingdom. Wherever you're listening, be sure to leave a review to let us know what you thought. On behalf of us all, thanks for listening.